<laughs> yeah, I think it looks nice. I, I like thought it. of um, see, like because it's Gucci, I thought of like, I thought of like Yoshi's story when I saw it. Everyone That's exactly that what I thought of too. It's actually a waifu overlay. Is it? I had no influence on it whatsoever, to be honest. <laughs> really? She just came up with it. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna work. It reminds that, me of like it the reminds Yoshi me game. of your of your like the like the the crayonish uh, uh, marking on the on the letters. Like and the clouds it, we, in we've the heard, background. Yeah. We've heard Wooly World and we've heard Yoshi Story. Yeah, Yoshi Story definitely. I would. Uh, that's the first thing I thought of. That's, that's actually, all the Yoshi egg, and I'm just thinking. That's actually great to hear. Thank yeah, you. I like it. All right, Tiger Tiger Nip and uh, Ducks. Ducks playing Bowser. I know he has a Bowser. Um, I don't know if he actually ever seriously uses Bowser for any matchups. Um, Ducks. Tiger uh, Nip using, uh, um, I'm not seeing a lot of neutral air from him here, which is kind of surprising because Kyle's neutral air covers almost his entire body. And I'm seeing some yeah. charging, which is good, but I'm seeing him uh, use a couple of smashes right in the beginning. I'm not sure if, if he's doing that because of Bowser's size or not, but. Jab combination does get power shielded and punished. Yep. It's that just one of those situations where, like, um, a lot of the time, you... Oh, no! Oh, no. The limit cross slash getting beaten out by the fire breath. There's but some nutri That's what I'm looking for. Oh, it gets punished. Nice up there. That will kill off yeah, the top. Yeah, that's nice and quick. Uh, I think Bowser has to read DI to get that combo. I don't think that combo is, like, as true as, like, DK. It, it looked true, but I'm sure it wasn't. Well, sure, it, it's, sure a, it wasn't. it's a true combo, like, if you follow their DI properly. But, like, they can mix up their DI, I think. Um, don't I, I don't know enough about Bowser. I, re I remember talking to someone about it, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't don't quote me on my Bowser knowledge. I'm sorry. I, um, I learned today about, um, and I know you you know, know this already probably, or some of our, everyone may already know, and I'm just it's news to me because I've been out for a while. I did not know that you could full hop clouds down air and hit shield and be completely safe. Yes. I did not know that. That's crazy, crazy good. Well, it's, it's partially safe. It's like... Oh, it, it is safe because if, if, if okay, so if they if they shield, you're you have frame advantage, so you grab. Right. Right. It, it forces you to do something, and they can like read that next option, but it's not a. You'll never get punished for the downer itself as long as you're as long as they're shielding. I mean, if they perfect shield you, then you're forced to do another action to not yeah. to not get grabbed. Or right. uh, but oh my gosh! That's a nice, that's a nice throw there. Oh. I, I love the fact that Cloud, that's a nice kill there. I love the fact that Cloud is able to still be like maneuverable around the map, but he still has a good enough weight where he's not dying super early. Yeah. Um, that was really nice from Ducks at the end because he recognized that Tiger Nip got the limit for being hit, and he did not want to waste the limit that he just got for going low when he was that far behind. Right. So he read the high recovery, waited for the air dodge because if Cloud's recovering high, all you have to do is wait for lag. The only thing Cloud can do to mix it up is not doing anything. Because um, you know, you're, you know you're, gonna get, you're gonna get an aerial, right? You know you're gonna, you know yeah. a neutral air is coming. You, they're not gonna four air. It's not very good. So, and Ducks just waited for an action and punished it. Right. It was really smart. And waiting is uh, waiting in this game is incredible. Like react, playing reactively, I yeah. think is rewarded more often. Yeah. A lot of people see like higher level play as like. Like, people who are able to read players, like, consistently, like, really, really well. But at the end of the day, like, reads aren't educated guesses. And top-level players are the players who, ha like, put themselves in situations where they have to make the least amount of reads possible. Correct. I, and, I, and I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. That can be applied to many different video games also, not just Smash. Yeah. But that is... A very good point, and that, and like you said, like you were saying earlier, going back to that, that's a nice up throw right off the tree Ooh. up top. Very good, <laughs> very good situational awareness yeah. there from Tiger Nip. Don't let Kirby take you to Duck Hunt. Did you see? Did you see those up tilt uh, combos? That looked like Smash 64. Super those, nice. Those, yeah. those, those, those up tilts. Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, ducks. Uh, ducks caught Tiger Nip trying to land with the uh, the command grab. Hit him with a back air, and uh, that trade was definitely in his favor. <laughs> I wonder why Nacho's playing DK again. Uh, I'm not sure. I know. I think. I think he's a decent DK. I played him for friendlies. I've only ever known him as a DK main. I didn't know that he played anyone else. I don't know if about him to know, but I just know that I played him today and he was solid. I, I would say. You got to jump home. Yeah. Nick Luck, He's never played a DK ever. I. I'm not sure. To be perfectly honest. Ooh. 
Oh no, Tiger Nip SDs uh, going for the gimp. That's that. You that, hate to see that kind it? of thing. I believe yeah. that's 2 0, right? Okay. But yes, Ducks over Tiger Nip 2 0 with the Bowser. Bowser really nice. Um,